peacemaker said so long ago, when you sit and when you counsel for the welfare of the people, think not of yourself, nor of your family, nor even your generation. Make your decisions on behalf of those generations coming. Layer on layer, each waiting their time. Defend them up to the seventh generation. It behooves societies around the world in general pay attention to indigenous people because we do have the long-term perspective. And we do have knowledge. And probably above all of that, we have common sense. I sit on the Onondaga Council of Chiefs, the partner for each one of the leadership. All have a faith keeper. That's my work, working uh, very closely uh, with the Creator. The Onondaga Nation are the fire keepers of the Confederation, the Haudenosaunee, and uh, other Indian nations across the country. And North, I would say indigenous people around the world look to the Six Nations for leadership. I grew up uh, on the Onondaga Nation, just running along the streams and up in the woods, and that was our playground. We had great fun, great, great times. I quit school in the seventh or eighth grade. Uh, you know, teacher didn't like me, and I didn't like the teachers. And it's interesting that later on I become a professor at a university. Playing across is like breathing, and our spiritual. Um, ceremonies, there's a place for lacrosse there. We played in Prague in this past May, an international world box tournament, and uh, got the silver medal. We're ranked fourth in the, in the field lacrosse around the world, and we'll soon be ranked a little higher than that. But it's our game. Well, my dad was a lacrosse coach, and uh, he needed a goalie. Well, the old man, Simmons, he said to me, do you ever think of playing on this side rather than the other side? He really uh, didn't have a great high school record. He dropped out of high school and went to service and was a paratrooper. And he had just gotten out of the service. Uh, he, was, he was truly a fine athlete and a, a great painter. And uh, Orrin had done a bunch of murals in a, in a restaurant downtown. And my dad knew about the murals in the restaurant. And uh, so one day he took the dean of admissions, who was a friend, he said, let's go to lunch. And then my dad said, if any, somebody could paint like that, he'd probably be admissible, wouldn't he, the School of Fine Arts? And Dean Hafer said, oh, a painter of that quality, we'd take him in a heartbeat. My dad said, good, here's the application. He sandbagged him is what he did. <laughs> he was a straight A student uh, in school. He was in uh, illustration, a fabulous artist. And so he had no problem coming up with straight A's. And of course, he was an all-American lacrosse player. I got an education and they got a lacrosse team that was undefeated in 1957. Old man Simmons was, a, was kind of a godfather to me. The associations I made at that time are still there. They're still going. Eventually, I did uh, get a job and, um, and began working for uh, Norcross Greeting Cards in New York. It gave me a great insight into, into the American psyche because I was still uh, very closely in touch with home here, home base. That was in the, in the 59 to 70. And then they called me back to Onondaga. They wanted me to take this position as one of the leaders. What I did bring was my ability to know people and to move in the outer world. That's, that's what I had. We've been working uh, at the United Nations level. Uh, I was one of the leaders that took that, that group over to Geneva in 1977. And it took us until 2007, finally, the Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. The leadership that you have here at Syracuse University right now, with Nancy Kander, probably the best in the country. And uh, all of a sudden, here comes Chancellor saying, I would then make the uh, opportunity for any of the Onondaga people who can pass the entrance exam to come tuition free and room and board. That's going to change the face of Six Nations. Well, Oren makes sure that he lets us students know that you can still be a Haudenosaunee person in this great big wider world. And when you leave the reservation, when you leave your home community, you take that with you wherever you go because that's who you are. And I think that probably global warming is what's going to break the uh, economies of the world. And this is a crisis that will determine whether we're going to survive or not. 
has become my, my number one uh, uh, priority. Our greenhouse, Plantagon, is uh, recognized as the number one innovation in the world two years ago in the international competition, number one. And so we're preparing now to, to build in Singapore, Shanghai. We're gonna need it, and why shouldn't we be the leader? I'm very anxious to get on with that. Our lines has daily deepened my trust in the human family. When we talked about Wounded Knee and all the things that we all did to help with the American Indian movement, our lines was on the point. I have a great trust in, in the human heart and human spirit because of Orr. Navigating two worlds is something that people like Orrin have helped us understand how to do. And for him to get this award from Syracuse University is just another, pardon the pun, another feather in his cap. Uh, we have a lot, you know, because we've kept our, our culture and spirit still here.